Welcome back to the GuideWeld VR Getting Started tutorial. Now that we've installed the GuideWeld VR software, we will need to log in for the first time. Before we go through the login process, I want to take a moment just to inform you about the account hierarchy within the GuideWeld VR software. As you can see, there are three levels of authentication within the software, and each has their own set of unique purposes. We're going to begin today by logging in as that admin user that you see at the top of your screen. The main reason for logging in as this user is that we will go about creating an instructor account once we've logged in as an admin. Let's walk through creating an instructor account now. To begin, let's start by launching the GuideWeld VR software. The first window that you see appear is a configuration utility. This allows you to select your preferred language, screen resolution, whether you wish to run the software in full screen or windowed mode, and finally, you're able to select your preferred graphics level. GuideWeld VR is a graphic intensive program, and if you find that things are not appearing to run smoothly, or if something on the screen is not displaying correctly, you have the option here to drop down the graphics level, say from fantastic to beautiful or good and so on, all the way down to fastest. This is designed so that if your computer barely meets those requirements or cannot run the software at the highest capacity, you're able to bring that down and still have full functionality of your GuideWeld VR software just by sacrificing some visual cues on the screen, such as some striations in the coloring on the steel that you'll see inside the virtual welding booth. At this point, I'll set mine back to fantastic. And once we are happy with our selected settings, let's go ahead and click on play. As you saw there, the software did take a look to see if there were any updates to the software that were available on our update server. This will happen every time the software is launched. It'll try to make connection through an internet access. So if your computer's connected to the internet and an update's available, you may be prompted stating that there is a new update available and ready for you to download. You can either choose to accept that update, download and install it then, or you can click no, it will bring you to this login screen we see now. In my case, as I have the latest version of the software installed, it told me that the up, uh, database was up to date and brought us to the login screen. For this beginning, the username that you'll use can be found in the administrator guide. That username is the word admin. And as this is the first time we are logging in, it wants the default password for this admin user which is also admin. From here, it prompts us to change the password from default. In our documentation, we make a suggestion of 123ABC, but you are certainly able to use any password you see fit for security on your end. Once you enter in a password on the top line, enter the same password on the second line, and it will tell you that with a green check mark that both passwords match and we're ready to click save. After clicking save, as you can see, we are now logged in as an admin, which is indicated in the upper right hand corner of the screen. In the box on the right side, you will see a message indicating that no instructor has been created yet and that we are able to do so below. On the bottom of the screen, it has a box for first name, and last name, go ahead and enter in the first and last name of an instructor now. I will add myself in here. And from here, we're going to click the Add Welder button. Now, what you will notice is that we now have an instructor created. It lists my first name, and I use the initial of my last name here and it gives me a username automatically. So my instructor username is CHP. As you notice, there are a few other things you can do on the screen, such as delete an instructor, 
or reset the instructor password. On the left hand side, we have the ability to in, uh, enable or disable a touch screen option, change units of measurement from standard to metric. But this is the main purpose of logging in as that admin, solely to create your instructor accounts. Remember that username in the third column here, as that will be needed to log in as your instructor in an upcoming video. From here, we'll click exit, and that will take us back to the user login screen.